Hello and welcome to a new series called Stranded. Well, kind of. <laughs> Alien Dawn. We're playing this beautiful, look at this beautiful imagery. We're going to go do a little new game and we're going to do a difficulty. Well, we can try the region is quite, we want to go for desert region. Uh, Concordia, I don't really care. It's give me any moon. Game difficulty, I want it hard because we already know how to play survival games. This is the seed, game rules, none. We don't want any any um what do you call it we don't want any advantage so let's go ahead and start up this game is is kind of like a tower defense meets um dwarf fortress kind of game you get uh, you get a couple of people to uh, to hand you out these are the people by the way so we have uh krista over here she's uh, quite capable she's combat no zero she's no, no capable combat instruction whatsoever um, construction, cooking, uh, crafting, incapable. She can't craft for shit. Farming three, healing zero, intellect is seven, so it's pretty high there. But the physical is pretty nothing, not an existent as well. She's a really weak little girl. Uh, Paulette Morata, elder. Okay, uh, combat zero, construction zero, cooking. She doesn't like combat that much. Crafting, yeah, she doesn't do crafting at all. But this woman doesn't like combat. She likes healing, but she doesn't have much healing skills. Then we have Rita, combat uh, three, construction zero, cooking, crafting, farming six, healing two, intellect three, physical one. This is gonna be quite, I don't wanna, I, <laughs> I mean, we have all these people we can choose from, right? All these people. And I do like some of these guys. Um, I particularly like, like this guy, Connor. Because he's so incredibly, you know, he loves fighting and stuff. Look at his combat six. He's really interested in combat and stuff, uh, and he's really physical. He can handle a lot of work, but uh, he switch, also switches twice as fast with ranged weapon, which is awesome. The problem is that he intimidates everybody and makes everybody feel uneasy. So he's a bit of an ass when it comes to the beginning of the game. And don't get me wrong, this game is all about feelings. You need to make sure that your people feel good all the time. If they don't. <laughs> they crash and burn. So, let's see. I like uh, Samantha as well. She's good. Uh, she's a nice high intellect. But she's a vegetarian. She refuses to eat meat. The point where she actually starves to death is there's no meat. There's no vegetarian dishes for her. Luckily, this game is full of that vegetarian stuff. So, that's never been a problem. But she is definitely a liability. Nova, I don't like her. She's not. She's incapable of being smart. <laughs> So let's not add her, shall we? Ken, um, I like him. He doesn't have any kind of negative things. Um, he's basically he's yeah. Gains happiness when killing, and observing death. That 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 doesn't seem to me like something that you'd want in a in a person in your little crew. I I don't know about him. <laughs> and then you have this guy, Jack Davies. He's awesome. Uh, he he's basically everything in one. He's a complete he's, he's basically the perfect character that you have on your uh, escape pod on a, on a planet that is infested with all sorts of creatures his combat is out through the roof he loves crafting he is incredibly physical he just does everything occasionally improves the combat skills of others he even has a bonus buff to other people i like him he's always good to have so i'm kind of wondering if i should remove christy because she has no crafting skills whatsoever and i need to do crafting but this is going to be a hard level game, and we will find other characters in the game. Uh, actually, as a matter of fact, we usually get one early on, so I don't really mind this. We have two combat ready people over here, but we have no construction. We have her, but that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm not quite sure about this. Uh, manipulation efficiency is increased by 50%. Um, has permanently increased happiness. This is quite nice. Rita is good. That's probably increased happiness. So these two over here are just basically going to make each other nice and happy. Christy, over on the other hand, is clumsy. And she won't do much more than that. Movement speed is decreased by 10%. So she's also, she's not only is she, <laughs> she can't do crafting, but she's also very, very stupid when it comes to mobility. Well, that's what we got. That's the, the dice that got, play, uh, got played for us. So we're going to go and start this up. Let's go get this done. So. That was 
a hard landing. All right. Ooh, oh, ships. <laughs> Paulette is already crying. Ah, stop crying, Paulette. Can somebody go and slap her in the face? Can you slap her in the face? Try to knock out Paulette. Come on, just knock her out. Boom. Ah, uh, seriously, you're gonna fight each other? Well, fine. Scavenge that. Okay, now she fainted. There we go. <laughs> Excruciating pain. Uh, this is not gonna be happy. Uh, she's crying, she crashed shock, she's exuberant, excruciating pain, she was bored by combat. And we got all sorts of creatures around here. Look at this crash thing site over here. Got all this. Holy bloody hell. Alright, well, first things first. We need to get started with putting down a bit of a camp. We have some good stuff around here. I like this. It's a nice little. Got some palm trees. We have we have water over there, which you don't need at the moment. Uh, we also have a very good um, like barricade option here. I mean, we, they can still probably get through that little section there, for instance. But the, there's an option here. We have some space we can cut ourselves off, all the rest of the world at least, and protect ourselves. You know, because basically it's built like a little bit of a, uh, a semicircle of walls around here. Now this is this is basically the edge of the map here. We can't. I don't think we can get up there. So hopefully nothing will spawn there. All right, let's get started with building. Now, uh, Polita is still out. She's going to hate Rita for sure. <laughs> let's get down to building stuff. So we want to get started with putting down some beautiful shelter. Let's use some scrap, yard, scrap stuff for this. Let's turn this around. Um, I, need, I need like two huts. One here. And then another one here. Like that. And then I also want people to come observe. When you come observe, you come observe. This is a little palm bush. I want I want people to come check it out. And what is this? Wild leaf, wild leafed plant. So I'm not quite sure what that is. And we don't have a campfire yet because we don't have any sticks or any stone or stone or stone. But we don't. We, we, need, we need sticks. We need sticks. There's some stone over there we can mine. There isn't much around here though. I'm guessing if we want to get stone, we're going to have to go closer to that there. I also don't see any... Any violent creatures around here. Nice little puddle of water. Nothing exceptionally violent or anything bad around here. It's good. Oh, but here we go. Here's a nest. So we got to be careful about this. It's an insect nest. No, we're not going to bother them for a while. Let's leave them alone. I don't see anything else. It's the edge of the map here. We'll just leave that as is. Now, the game is pretty simple. We gotta make sure that these people survive and thrive in this hostile uh, environment. And that's the, the, the tricky part, of course, is uh, having them survive without <laughs> killing each other. Alright, now, um, these people don't like each other that much. Their happiness is important. The, the happiness drops below a certain amount. There's a little black mark that you see by happiness, by the S for happiness. If it drops below that, then we'll get into a kind of a shocking kind of environment, kind of situation for these people. They will uh, go into a mental breakdown and not do anything for us. Can we can we save? Can we rescue Rita? Ah, there we go. We're going to rescue Polita. All right, go rescue Polita. Bring her home. I'll put her in bed at least. And then let's put some more beds here. Now we'll move them apart later on. But for now this is going to be a good start. Okay. We want to keep make sure that all our people are nice and happy. And not... Um, oh, insufficient material. That's too bad. Let's wait until we get some more stuff. Research the palm bush. So we can research you. What do you got for me? There's an ordinary, bu ordinary bush that could be cut down for sticks. I didn't notice anything else of interest. All right, well, cool. let's cut these down. Get some sticks. And actually, let's, let's click a bunch of these bushes at the same time. Oh, that's a bit too much. Shall we not do that? Cancel order. Let's just select these bushes. Cut down. Excellent. Ah, oh, yeah, she's going to be fine. She's going to be fine. Her health is not that bad. I'm pretty sure we'd be, she'll be running around and jogging around anytime soon. Now we could have just let her cry out, which might have been a better 
<laughs> better solution. But uh, yeah, I, I don't really, I don't really care. All right, we can now because we research these bushes and stuff. We can actually plant them. So we have the palm bush that we can put. An unbranched evergreen plant loves warm, humid weather and can be found around oases. This is an oasis. Okay, apparently. But we don't need to because there's so much of it around here. So we won't plant anything yet. Polita is idling. Okay, well, that's too bad for her. Just leave her alone for now. So let's see. Are we researching this tree? Yeah, Rita is observing the tree. We've got some dogs over here. Not quite sure why there's a, uh, a species of canine on this planet. Let's call it dog. <laughs> Apparently one of the developers really liked his dog or whatever. Anyways, we'll, we'll get to those in the future. We might be able to uh, to adopt them, tame them, and then train them for uh, for combat, which would be kind of useful. All right, you're cutting. Xander's cutting some bushes. What are you doing, Polita? What are you What are you good at? Let's look at. This. She's a reasonably good mood. No risk of meltdown. Okay, so if there's no risk of meltdown because she's at seventy percent. If she goes below twenty percent, I think then the melt melt will be coming into effect. So we got uh, some normal temperature. The temperature is 37 degrees. I think because it's desert, we will definitely have some chances of heat stroke later on. Because this is a this is a shirt. She's wearing a jacket as well. Let's see what happens anyway. Okay, so this woman is pretty good at cooking, crafting, farming, healing, and intellect. Now we don't have anything to farm or anything to craft yet. Uh, so we need to wait until that. The production table. We do have a workbench, but it needs 10. 10 logs basically. And we need a cookie store if we can build that as well. Mm, don't want to yet. So, do we still need. I think we still need some more scrap metal. Food is going up. Up here is the uh, resource tab. Basically, shows us what we have. We have enough cooked meals. Uh, well, none of these are cooked. These are all just emergency rations. Let's put down a campfire. Let's put down a campfire, a scrap metal campfire, just to make sure that we have enough here to keep everybody nice and warm. Put it right there. It's gonna burn some of this grass away. I'm pretty happy with that. Low food, only four, four days worth of food. That's not much. So we only have 30, 38 emergency rations. So that isn't much at all. Uh, we're gonna have to get some more. Probably have to do some hunting. And we could, of course, go ahead and scavenge all these parts here. These are all space parts, space station parts and stuff that crashed down. They all have resources that we can use. What are you? Unknown species, relatively peaceful. Okay, we'll just leave you alone. If you're relatively peaceful, I believe that. I don't think you'll uh, you'll attack. That's just a rock. I don't think there's any, uh, any risk of a... Um, hmm... Going after that dromedary kind of creature. So one of the cool thing about it is that these guys, these creatures will attack each other, kill each other, and we can then butcher whatever whoever is left over. If they die. Got some more of these mushrooms over here. Also pretty good. So we do need to get food, and there's several ways to do that. We can go scavenge. Some of these these, these uh, space station parts, or we can go hunting, or we can just uh, collect all sorts of materials and resources and stuff at around. I don't see any berry bushes or bushes with any kind of food on them, so this might be a little bit tricky. I do see some leather. Ah, oh. uh, you guys just really love killing each other, don't you? Polita is idling. Now nah, we'll have to leave her alone for now. She doesn't have the intellect to do anything at the moment. She doesn't... Well, she has two intellect. I'm not quite sure does she actually care. Why don't you craft this thing? Construct... Yeah, just construct the thing. Come on, just do it. <laughs> I'm not quite sure why she, she, isn't, she isn't doing her job. Let's look at the management tab. So we have a schedule tab here. It is right now 2100 hours. So technically speaking, she does have free time. Uh, we could just give her some... these people some more relaxed time like that and do their uh, relaxation there. But I need this thing, this little shelter here, done. Oh, we got palm forest as well. Nice. And let's go ahead and select you, you, and you, and you for cutting. So we get some more logs as well. Can you build the fire? Thank you. You're doing a good job, lady. I like it. All right, so let's build a stockpile so we can spy, tie, st um, pile up all of our resources, keep them close by. 
And we'll build a um, an outside shelved storage from scrap or from wood. We don't have any wood yet. I want this. But we need to have some palm trees first. Cut those down. Hello, Rita. What are you doing? Rita's doing nothing at all. I'm not quite sure what she's up to. Rita, are you okay? What's up with you? So the important tabs for all your characters and stuff are, are mostly the health. So you get a little bit of an overview of what's going on. So you can see here, like for instance here, Rita has a smoke inhalation issue. So this will, the pain is mild. Uh, movement is reduced. Manipulation is reduced. Uh, too bad. It's also because it's dark. Don't forget that. But um, this might heal over time. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. For the rest, the happiness tab is pretty important. So she ate on the foot. It's pretty dark and a little pain. Okay, now eight of the foot is pretty bad. We want to remove any kind of situation where these people become less happy. So we want to put down some furniture here. Let's put a large table down. Uh, I don't want to put... Mm, I want a wood one, but I need that tree cut down first. We'll put down a table over here and put some chairs around it once she has that tree cut. Transporting logs. Beautiful. All right, wooden table. Let's turn you around. Make sure that... Let's, let's, let's leave it like that. Leave you close by... Let's put it like this. I like it like that. All right, now we have some chairs. Furniture, chair, wooden chair. Perfect. Let's copy this one. Let's copy you. Look at that. We got ourselves a nice, beautiful set. <laughs> She's going to make this beautiful table for us. And it's going to let us sit here nice and comfortably. I think we need some more logs. Do we need that? Discovery palm tree. Okay, we got the palm tree discovered. This puppy over here. So it's basically just a normal tree. This is a normal palm tree. I'm not quite sure what planet we, we crashed on, but it looks remarkably like Earth. I'm pretty happy with that. So can we... Can we make you do stuff? I want you to actually... Oh, wow, she's strong. Look at that. Now, the more effort they do, the more repeating processes they do, the... Uh, more they improve their own stats so as she's doing more heavy lifting and stuff that her static for physical physical will improve over time so right now she needs like a thousand points to experience the next level uh when it comes to cooking she's four thousand well, <laughs> basically four thousand to get to the next level four thousand for crafting one thousand four hundred for farming and healing that kind of thing okay great dane Ooh. Taming of dogs researched, dog status, okie dokie. Now the problem with the dogs, of course, is that they require a certain type of meat, dried meat particularly, to be tamed and then to be fed as well. But they are really useful when it comes to um, defense. So we want to defend our uh, village, our little camp, campsite. We can't do that right now because we don't have a fence, we don't have any lookouts, we don't have anything at all whatsoever to be able to do that. Um, but in the future, we would definitely want to do I want to get rid of this, this tree over here, and I want to put down another one of these shelters. And this one will go like so. That's the cool thing about these little huts and stuff, is that the walls can be removed if you put them together like that. And then they can you can basically travel between all the, basically the whole thing uh, at once. And that gives us a bit more space. Now, they're all sleeping next to each other, but they will be disturbing each other while they do the thing. So who isn't sleeping? Pauletta. Is that because you're not tired? You're not tired. I think she's not tired. And she has a little bit of... She has a fair euphoria, so she's pretty happy. Good. But she's also got a bit of smoke inhalation, so we'll have to keep an eye on them. Make sure that that doesn't get any worse. What are you transporting? You're transporting some kind of fabric? Are oh, you coming to get this fabric? Okay. we got a big Dane over here. Now, we don't have anything to tame him yet, because we haven't researched it yet. We also don't have anything to tame, tame him with, because we don't have any food. There goes the tank. Ah, oh, it's a beautiful guy. All right, we got a gun here. We have one ranged weapon. It's a laser pistol. So we want to give that to the person who loves to fight. Oh, insufficient storage? Yeah, I'll deal with that later. So let's see. Who of you likes combat the most? I think it's Xander. So I'll give Xander the, the gun. It's a short range gun. And Rita's apparently suffering from hypothermia. Why are you suffering from hypothermia? Are you too far away from the from the fire? The fire should be able to actually reach there. A bit strange. 
All right, now, as soon as Xander has the gun, we should definitely go and do a little bit of hunting. I don't want to hunt the dogs, but these guys over here, perfectly fine. Now, we also should have some more carcasses around here somewhere. Let's go find something. Like, like you are here. You're dead, but these are insects. I don't really want ins... Uh, I guess we could do the insects. You're dead, though. Let's go butcher you. Let's move Sander, Xander over here. And let's say he butcher the long-legged reptile. Oop. A bit windy. Where's Xander going? Xander, are you moving? Yes, he's hoofing it. We'll get it done, huh, Xander? So Xander's gonna go out. Oop, auto save. Uh, concert celebration. Ooh, that's good. First camp, we put together a camp as quick as we could, considering the circumstances we're not sleeping in the dirt. We have a roof over our head and a fire to illuminate the dark, uncertain nights. And the most important, we have survived. To us, this feels like an achievement worth honoring. We can gather around the campfire and celebrate being alive at 7 o'clock tonight. Great idea. It's perfectly good. That gives us a little bit of a happiness boost. And I am all for happiness. Because the game is going to make it more and more difficult to keep them happy in the future. And we're going to spend more and more time trying to keep them happy. That's one of the reasons why we have this leisure button on here. So we can get a dartboard up. Statues are pretty good. Shooting target is pretty good. Punching holes. What's with the wind? I'm trying to talk here. <laughs> so we can put down... Let's put down a, uh, a dartboard right there. So we can get some leisure out. We can relax a little bit. And uh, hopefully that will reduce them. I also want to get um, my people cooking a little bit. So let's go put some quick recipes. Cooked rations are always good. Let's put 10 cooked rations. Uh, 11 is also fine. So we'll put that in there for you now. We have insufficient storage space. Okay. Now that means we definitely have some space over here to put this down. Boom. And, and you there. Boom, boom. Now they also have storage chests. A wardrobe. And a double wardrobe. Now those guys are very, very useless. <laughs> starting out. The storage shelves, on the other hand, are pretty good. So we want to put down some storage shelves. I think we're going to have to remove you. Let's cancel your construction. And instead, let's put the storage shelves there instead. Like, like that. So the storage shelves will be used for um, holding food and so on. So they don't have to walk so far for cooking and so on. All right, Xander is scab. What did you bring the meat? Did you bring the meat? He, he brought the meat. Yeah, we have 15, 19 raw meat. Not quite sure where you left it though. Did you leave it back here? Are you dead? Are you dead? You're sleeping. Are you dead? Yeah, that's dead. That's for sure. It's very dead. New resource: corked emergency rations. Excellent. So this is pretty good. That gives us a little bit of. Uh, Happiness boost as well from food. They love cooked food. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go and tell them not to eat any raw food, as a matter of fact. I am more concerned with their health than I should be, but that way I don't get any s weird sicknesses and diseases early on. It's probably fine. So we need a little bit more space. I think I'm going to have to put some more... Um, oh wait, did anybody get any disturbed... Last night was annoyed by Paulette. Okay. Drowsy. Uh, a little bit disturbed sleep. Disturbed sleep. Okay, we have two disturbed sleepers here. And Xander has a gloomy personality. <laughs> That's always an issue. Um, but we want to get started with making some more things. Should we get started with the workbench? I don't want to. Uh, let's first... Let's get down with more shelters. I want more shelters. I need... Needs a little bit more space. Okay, let's go and put this down. I want a little bit more space over here on this side. So let's move. Let's put the um, put you down over there. And another one of these shelters all the way around there. That way I'll have some cover for these uh, workbenches, cook stove, and chopping block. We can put them in here and have our people work under cover. And then once we have that up and running, we'll set up another little section over here, or maybe over this side. Uh, I want to get far a little bit further away from the crash site. 
not too far, but a little bit further away, so that we have a little bit more space to build. So I think we're going to be moving out in this direction, uh, a little bit close to the crash side over there. As soon as this one is over, this one's finished. The only we still have two more to go, I guess, before this crash site is empty, and then we move on to the next one. This one also has six uh, crafting scavenging options, of which we haven't done anything yet. Ah, uh, good guy, you're building it, Christia. Christa, that's not a guy. Is that a guy? No, Christa's a girl. <laughs> Never mind. She looks way different in the picture. But I like her. She's good. Leave her alone. Let her do her thing. All right, let's go ahead and select the wood and storage shelf to only hold cooked and raw foods, like so. Let's remove that option from here. So no cooked and raw foods for you, and no cooked and raw foods for you. And then, I also think we should put down a little drying rack. A small drying rack will do fine. So we can do either with sticks or with... I don't think we'll just do sticks for now. We can always expand it later on. Let's put that there. That will give us the option to actually start drying the meat that, that Rita is carrying. And then uh, we'll move uh, Xander out to go do some more hunting. I did see some more llama kind of things, weird creatures like these ones over here. It's some kind of a humped animal. Now we can of course observe it. That's one of the things you should do. You should always observe the animals and creatures and stuff like that around you first before you kill them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we don't have time for all that kind of stuff. Let's also observe you. Let's also give some, some cotton and stuff out. Like all good. I want some hay. Some some hay would be nice. That way we can we can build uh, a nice little structure. Observing humped animal. You go, Krista. Now let's see, where is this stuff? So we got some, we got these bloated uh, trees as well. It's also good. Xander is idling. Okay, well that's that's a bit of a shame. Oh, we, there we go. That's what we're looking for. What's all the way over here? Blade grass. We need some blade grass. I think we'll just have to research the blade grass and then uh, farm it a little bit close to our own home. I'm looking around. I think that if we do get attacked, it won't be from over there or from over there. Nah, I don't think it'll come from that side. Not right now. Hmm. There's a lot of, lot of creatures over here. It's very populated. Maybe we can move Xander to go and go a little, little bit of a hunt. Let's see, where should you hunt for? What should you hunt for? Um, oh, actually, there's a llama right there we can kill. Let's go butcher you. Let's move Xander over here. Butcher the animal, please. Thank you. Give me that meat. As soon as this timer runs out for shelf life, uh, this animal will uh, will disappear and then that meat will be gone and we can't use it. And we need the meat. All right, we got this beautiful little shelter over here. Let's go ahead and put down a workbench in here. So I want a wooden one. We can always build a, a steel one. Uh, but I want to keep the metal for other things for later on. Let's go put a workbench here, a wooden one. And right next to it, we'll put a little signage fence as well. Also a wooden one. Boom! Right there. And to be absolutely sure that we can actually see what we're doing, let's put also put a uh, torch there. Excellent. And we can also put a torch in here, but I think that they sleep better when it's dark than when it's light. So I'll leave it alone. Alright, you're still cooking. Oh, we got a dromedara. It's a big humped animal that looks like a camel and a zebra had a baby on an alien planet, so I named it the Dromada. <laughs> from my observations, it's a peaceful herbivore which will most likely avoid confrontations and run away from its threat. It's quite big, so it should provide a decent amount of meat. Its hide also seems valuable. So we got uh, we get that puppy on our list. Nice. So these Dromadera are very good to uh, farm. Well, nah. yeah, required farming skills 3 to tame it. Uh, taming food is 20, uh, 20 of these kind of like um, mushroom thingies. I'm not quite sure if they have them here. I haven't seen them. Some kind of a cactus kind of thing. Low food. We only have four days worth of food. Oh, hello. Oh, we got the campfire setting gathering thing happening now. <laughs> Everybody be happy. So are you still... Uh, yeah, you're transporting the meat. Excellent. So we'll have 35 more meat and a couple more of these hides available in a bit. All pretty good. The table's built yet? Not yet. 
So who's not doing anything? Oh, you're, all, you're celebrating already. Pauletta is already celebrating. So she's happy. Look at the happiness is 100%. And Kista, no, I don't think she understands what happiness is. And let's see, Xander, no, he doesn't either. Kista, ah, oh, you good girl, you keep building all that stuff. So we want the working, the, the working crafting table so we can start making some weapons. Uh, we need weapons so that we can defend ourselves. And those are, that's very, very important to get that done as soon as possible because we only have one weapon at the moment we have oh, we have a lasers laser pike that's pretty good I'm gonna give the laser pike to her yes advanced melee weapon nice so Rita can take the pike the rest of the main people are still unarmed three more unarmed it's a bit different uh, so let's go ahead and craft I want to make some bandages right now we can always use some bandages. But five bandages, pretty good. Now we need to research um, weaponry before we can actually start making it. And we don't need the silicon yet. Hmm. What what can we... I think I'm just going to leave Xander for now. Upset with Paulette with her pe pessimism. <laughs> you just upset somebody? Uh, you asshole okay was angered by paulette uh, negative nine so these are the interactions between each other it's always so horrible there's only one guy in the camp over at the moment at the moment and he doesn't seem to be very happy with paulette so paulette over here has a bit of an issue annoyed by xander was angered by xander whoa okay that, that's that's pretty bad but she's still 100 percent happiness i think there's her ha her mood's not gonna damper anytime soon so I'm, I'm happy with that just leave her alone i need to find some kind of vegetable i think we should research these puppies. These are some kind of orange mushrooms. They glow in the dark, but they're very good for cooking. And then we also need to farm them as well. And I think these leaves, these broad leaves, wide leaf plant, are good for smoking. Uh, I'm not quite sure if anybody smokes on this planet yet. But we can also, you can just observe some of this. Let's just observe one of these things. Get that started. We still have a bit of food. Of which we have seven cooked rations at the moment. Let's see, did we cook them all? Not yet. Leave that for now. We just cook one more. Um, I'm gonna. I want to observe what you are. Actually, as a matter of fact, maybe you're worth something to me. And I don't see any other kind of fruit-bearing bush. What are you? This is a a giant grass. Oh, we can get some. We can get some hay from this. <gasps> Excellent. So let's observe that. So we don't have to go all the way out there to get that grass stuff. We can just we can just take that instead. We can use you for leather. So the twisted plant. Also observe that. We shouldn't get too many tasks going because then we won't have anybody to actually uh, do the research or um, any of the other tasks around. And I need to be absolutely 100% sure that they can actually do the thing that they need to do. All right, that's day one. We actually survived, I guess. <laughs> Let's see what the day two brings for us in the, in the next episode, I guess. Um, I'm going to try and keep these ones, these episodes, nice and short so we can get lots of them. I'm going to go through this at a reasonable pace. Not too fast, not too slow, of course. And we're going to try and see if we can get... Let's see how far we can get with this game. Before we, of course, inevitably die to a, some kind of a massive attack. <laughs> it's very typical for these games eventually the, the the raids from aliens and stuff are going to be so massive so huge that uh that we just simply can't survive and then we'll just be overrun uh but we'll see what happens in the, uh, in the future that's it for now uh this is uh stranded alien dawn it's a really beautiful awesome game i like playing it and uh we're gonna go ahead and try a little bit more of this in the future so see you in the next episode have a nice evening. Bye-bye.